800 for your comments today pk at rte.ie for emails and you can text us on 51551 now a north mayo family has complained to gardi about alleged filming of their grandchildren on a beach near the corrib gas project by security personnel employed by shell ireland colum henry resident of glengad says that he and his grandchildren have been filmed by security staff with video cameras every time they walk across family land to a local beach. Shell Ireland has confirmed that surveillance is taking place in Glengad but has denied that any film of the children exists and uh, Colin Henry joins me now. Colin, good morning to you. Good morning. Tell me what has been happening. Well, we live very close to where Shell proposed to bring their, their, their gas pipe from sea onto land and we have used this beach right in front of our house for forever, I suppose. And as we go to the beach, down a private field, and as we use the beach, we're constantly monitored or filmed by Shell Security, or the other cameras trained on us. And this Shell Security video surveillance, where is it coming from? Is it coming from, uh, from their property nearby? It's coming from their property. They're all the time on their property, all right. But we never trespass on their property. We use the beach, we use a, a private field to get to the beach. And, and as we use the beach with, with our grandchildren as they paddle there, there's a camera trained on us all the time. Because Shell would say that they don't have cameras trained all the time on the children and on yourself. No, they, they, they said they do have the cameras trained, but have their, their, their security firm so well trained that they don't switch the cameras on while well, they're trained on us. And we don't believe that. So you think that you are actually being filmed, that it's not just a case that the cameras are in position looking out for intruders, but that they are actually recording the activities of yourself and your grandchildren? We believe they are, because they hardly stand up with the camera trained on us for one full hour, while the children play in, in the water and play on the beach. Now, Shell maintain that they have actually only filmed 30 minutes of tape altogether of activities in this area and that your family is not included in that and that some of that material has actually been handed over to the Gardaí. Well we find that hard to believe ourselves because Shell won't identify the security firm involved in this so that we could approach them to see what they have to say about it. And we thought that by law they're obliged to identify themselves those security people. We should say, by the way, that we asked Shell to come on the programme and be interviewed, but uh, they declined to be interviewed. Just explain to me the importance of this beach and the importance of the area surrounding it, the cliffs surrounding it, to Shell, because there's an issue with sand martens, and I think that is the crux of what's going on here. Well, that's part of it also, because it seems that uh, what is the fact that actually where the, sh where the pipe comes ashore, Shell have excavated part of that, of that uh, cliff face, where there is, is a, a natural habitat for the sand martens to nest. And to stop the sand martens nesting there, and, that, and part of that, they have put a net over the, be over the beachhead there, and the sand martens, they, they fly into it to try to make the nest again, and they get killed on the net. And there's an issue there with that. A lot of local people are angry over this and probably a lot of people or some people try to remove that net but it was put back up again and why is it important for shell that the stand sand martins not be allowed nest there because that's where they want to bring the pipe ashore you see and is there a regulation which says that if the sand martins are nesting there that they have to stop work well we believe there is according to law I, I, nobody should interfere with with the natural habitat or so we believe but they have inter interfered with that. Now, Shell claim that there has been a lot of damage done to these nets. Well, we didn't do any damage to those nets. No, they're, not, they're, they're absolutely yeah. insisting and they are saying that they are making no accusations of any kind against you or any member of your, of your family. But that, That's true, yeah. That basically what they're saying is that the, the field, which uh, I'm assuming is your field, which gives access to the beach, is being used by others to get to these nets and that these nets are being damaged. Well, that, ha that has happened just on one occasion, and that, that's fairly recent where somebody has used that field. And by the way, it is not my field. 
It's a field to which you have access. It's a field to which we have access. Right. Um, and I mean, they're saying that 30,000 euros worth of damage has been done. That's, a, that's quite a lot of damage. It is to, to, to win it, I suppose. I don't know how they can calculate that or how they come up with that figure, but maybe that's so. But we don't condone that kind of activity at all whatsoever. And the beach that you're talking about, is this a public beach or a private beach? Oh, it's a public beach. It's a beautiful public beach. And it's the only, it's the only beach of its kind around this area here. It's the only place we can go to, to for recreation and to take our children to or our grandchildren to. And when this, if, if this proposed pipe comes ashore, well, that's the end of the story for our beach. And that's the end of a way of life for us. Do you not think that Shell, on the basis of the damage that has been caused to these nets, has a very good reason to have this beach and this area under video surveillance, and indeed has a right to have this beach under video surveillance? Well, possibly they have, but why should this video I'll keep cameras trained on our grandchildren? And this, this, this filming, filming of us was going on long before there was any damage done to this net. This has gone on since last April, actually. Have you approached Shell? Have you complained to them? What have you said to them? We have, no, we have, we, we, we don't, we can't approach anybody from Shell. The first time we've heard from Shell was we got a letter yesterday, and that is the first time that there was any contact made with us from Shell since they started work here in 2002. But we have made a complaint to, to, uh, to Norway, to Stata in Norway, and we intend to make a complaint to the Department of Justice and the, the, the Child Welfare Unit to see if there's anything done about this. But what, if it's Shell who are actually doing the filming, I mean, I know Statoil are involved in the project as yeah. well, why not complain directly to them, go to the source, as it were? Well, it's very hard to approach anybody. There is, there is supposed to be a liaison officer here. But as you approach this man, I'll come anywhere near him, he runs away. It's very hard to make contact with anybody in authority in Shell. And you say you got a letter from Shell. What did they say in the letter? Well, they just said that they would send somebody to talk with us and to try and discuss this and delay our fears. But I think it's a bit too late for that now. The company themselves, Shell, have said that they want to be good neighbours. Do you see them as good neighbours? <laughs> well, if, if, if that's the way they want to be good neighbours, by training cameras on us full time and looking through their binoculars at our house and at ourselves, well, that's hardly being good neighbours. I think, anyhow. And in general terms, are you opposed to Shell's activities in North Mayo? We're not opposed to the gas line coming ashore whatsoever. We're opposed to the way they're bringing it ashore right in front of our house, right enough. Uh, we, we object to the way they're bringing it ashore, but we wish to God that they would bring it in somewhere, somewhere else, somewhere safe, and cease this activity of, of filming our, our children, our grandchildren. What difference is this going to make to your lives? I mean, you've already referred, I think, uh, to the fact that it is going to change the area. What difference is it going to make to well, you it's, it's and your activities? Our, we're sorry, it's just changed our way of life forever. Already? Yeah, because imagine what it will be like when I do get permission. They have got no permission to bring this pipe on land at all yet. So imagine what it will be like if they do get permission and bring it ashore. Imagine the type of security and surveillance that there will be there right in front of our house for the next 30 or 40 years. How do your grandchildren feel about this? How do they feel oh, about we, we, the fear that they are being filmed? Well, they know there's something kind of sinister there, but it, they still want to go to the beach, but we can't take them there anymore. It's, it's not fair on them to take them there and, and have them being filmed. Because we don't know who those people are, those security people. We don't know would they have their own private cameras with them. We don't know if they're properly vetted by Shell. Who does, that's what we'd like to know, all those things. We have no answers at all to all those things. Uh, well, I mean, will you, given that Shell have written to you and given that you have found difficulty in getting anybody from Shell to take your complaints on board, will you be writing to Shell? Can you put all of this in writing to them and see if, what kind of a response you get? Oh, we will. We'll, 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 we'll talk about this to somebody and, and uh, we'd like to, to, to discuss this properly with somebody. But we have no faith in Shell to, give, uh, to treat it seriously for us. Well, thank you for talking to us this morning, Colm Henry, Colm Henry, resident of Glen Gad. And as I said, Shell declined to be interviewed, but uh, they have promised us a statement before the end of the programme, so we will bring that to you.